episode of Loud About Nothing. It's me, your boy, the hottest dude in the podcast game, Sebastian Canelli. And as always, per usual, we got the, but a little bit closer today. I am. Ooh, I like this, today. like a touch up there the app. <laughs> I like this. I'll be kicking him under the table yeah. like he's in trouble. Uh, give it up for the cute boy himself, Robbie boy. Robbie? What's up? I'm really excited. Me too. I I'm so excited. This is something I've wanted on the podcast for a long time. Yeah. And we found the perfect person. I've been following him for like a while now. And he goes, would you start following me right before you DM'd? I go, no, I've been, <laughs> for, I've been, I've been a fan for a little bit. Uh, no, we just waited till we went viral. Oh, and we were I'm, like, see, he'll think we're cool. <laughs> I, I would have came on before. I thought. I you love were it. Cool. I love oh, it. I love this. Uh, we have a, a magician. <laughs> we have a magician in studio. Give it up for John Stessel. Oh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. I will say though, I completely agree, Sebastian. The sexiest guy in the podcast game. Ooh. Like no, I have a suit in the podcast sexiest. game, baby. Rogan, you're done. Look at this man. Yeah. That's Look what I'm at saying. this man. You're done, Rogan. Yeah. I'm not eating elk meat. I'm going to McDonald's. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, man. I love this. I am so excited. First, let's let's address the elephant. You got some beautiful hair. Oh, <laughs> beautiful hair, beautiful eyes. Wow. Yeah. You... Je- oh, this is just gonna be a flirt <laughs> fest. <laughs> you are, you got really nice hair, really nice eyes. Oh well, thank you. I I feel very blessed by my genetics. So yeah, this is nice. The the hair and the eyes have definitely become an aesthetic of mine. I actually painted on my briefcase, and by I I mean my buddy Mitch Kuna. I cannot <laughs> paint. So wow. shout out to Mitch Kuna for painting my briefcase. It definitely helps to uh, have like a little bit of an aesthetic as a magician. Yeah. So I'm very happy that. It worked for both of you. Where both of you were like, oh, like the hair and the eyes. I'm like, sick. The is branding that, uh, is working. Is that part of like the roots? They're paying attention to the hair and the eyes. Oh, completely. Yeah. I, th- I think that like for me, wow. one, just as an entertainer period, taking out magic as the as the entertainment. Yes. No matter what, like you have to, you need to be remem- like memorable. Mm-hmm. And I think that a quick way to being memorable is to have like an identifiable look, no matter what it is. Like, mm-hmm. yes, I'm not like six two, so I don't got that going for me. Yeah, sure. I'm not shredded. So like the things I can control, maybe the cool hair, thank God for the eyes. But yeah, yeah. like I try to lean into like what I have going on. <laughs> I mean, you got it. <laughs> oh, thanks. And you know, what's cool. It's like a lot of magicians, you think like a darkness or like, but you have a lightness. The hair is very like, like friend in high school and the eyes are opening and warm. Like it's the opposite of what I would I think. I absolutely love that because the thing that I really try to bring with my brand of magic is I want people to look at me like, oh, like John's my buddy that I would hang out with in a bar. Yeah. Normal guy. It uh-huh. just so happens to do some extraordinary things. Like, so I really want to feel like, cause so many magicians lean into this, this mysterious element. Like they're like, oh, like I'm better than you and you can't understand. Dude, there's Google. We can figure everything out. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. like, when you can truly just be, like, who you are and also do some really cool things, that's kind of how I see my my brand of magic. A little bit different than Chris Angel. Definitely different <laughs> than Chris Angel. <laughs> a, little di- a little different than the Mind Freak. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> Would you watch his show, Chris Angel? Oh, who didn't oh. watch his show? When that shit was on, oh, my God. How could you not watch it? Like, it was... It was painfully good. That's the only way to describe it. Well, it was a lot of um, like camera tricks. It wasn't even magic. Yeah, but so, okay, so I give both Blaine and Chris Angel a lot of credit, but I really think okay. Chris Angel doesn't get enough credit in one regard, which is yeah. he pioneered the viral video. Uh, think about it. He was the first one to be like, I'm going to fake stuff yeah. and make people in real life freak out that's fake and then just splice it up and put it on television. Like, Blaine... Even if there were some moments that, once again, no one knows because Blaine is so mysterious, but even if there were moments that might have been dishonest if it was magic or not, uh-huh. like it really felt like magic where Angel, you watch and you're like, this has to be fake. And what? that really bled into YouTube culture. Like you kind of see it now, yeah. but he was the first one to do it. You sure. got no credit. Oh, that's cause like the fake, fake pranks. It's just yeah. like a little fake magic. Kinda. Yeah. And, and once again, he didn't position it as that. No. But I think that like that era of mind freak and like, uh-huh being really outspoken and doing ridiculous things in public, like him and Blaine pioneered that. There yeah. was there was this rumor around Staten Islands that these kids were 
Um, and we're really going for it right now. That, that everyone's <laughs> like, "Yo, I could get the best coat." Chris Angel does his blow. <laughs> that was, <laughs> like, yo, that was the certification. That Chris, I swear to God, <laughs> the OG highest and level. AC. And we go, yo, this coat's from AC. This is Chris Angel coat. <laughs> oh my God, it's amazing. You don't need to comment. No, <laughs> just let me know. Well, all I know, he was from Staten Island, right? I don't know if he was. I know, I think he was. So, really? like, so I'm like. I'm just going to stay out of that topic. Yeah. Sure. But I think he's from Staten Island. It's the only thing I can back. I um, think. I think. What Where's you, the dude with the laptop? Fact check it in the back. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you mean by David Blaine? Like, it's not always magic tricks. Oh, I mean, David Blaine, if you watch any of his stuff, he, he, does, some, he does some things really well. And one of the things that's most interesting with Blaine is he figures out magic that feels like it shouldn't be possible. Uh -huh. And he figures out real things that shouldn't feel possible. So, for example, if yes. you go watch one of his appearances on Jimmy Fallon, he does an illusion by a guy named Dan Haas. Uh -huh. And what he does is he sews his lips shut. That's I think I've a, seen that. That's not a trick. That is just he, this guy, Dan Haas, figured out that you could sew your lips shut without bleeding too much yeah. to do a trick. So you watch it and you're like, is he really doing this? Is this really happening? Yeah. And the answer is yes. Like, there's no trick. So Blaine figured out that good in between of like doing crazy, unspeakable things that aren't magic mixed with like the hardest hitting magic of all time and also kind of being an alien. Wow. Yeah, because some of his tricks are just like him pushing his body to the absolute limit. Absolute like the limit. ice trick and stuff like that. Look at me. Not doing anything like that. Nah. No way. <laughs> Endurance stunts? Yeah, nah. sure. I I'm way too cute for that. I, yeah. I could never. You want people to know it's a trick because that speaks to your level of skill. Uh, I Yeah. I, li I like that answer. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like I'm terrified to do anything that would hurt me. <laughs> Look at me. You think pain? Come on. <laughs> no, I know. When, like, he's putting stuff through his hand or, like, yeah, just what... cutting his face up or, oh. like, swallowing the frog is not a trick. No, no. He's just, he does it in a very unbelievable way. Do I look like the type that would swallow a frog? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> some people be like, that dude eats frog. <laughs> but, no, I just, he, he does some things that are just, you got to give them, you got to give people flowers when they're due, right? Yeah. And, oh, just outrageous stuff well my dad was was a principal in the lower east side in the 90s and said that his like street magic was incredible like him walking around and just doing like tricks on the street oh, was so absolutely cool. amazing that's so fun and it was before he was like a big big star yeah so he could just go around you want a fun fact about that era david blaine yeah every magician hated him why really i think there's a there's a thing in magic there's this like weird elitism where like nobody likes people doing things differently and like at the time, uh -huh. David was like doing magic that trade professionals would do, but he was doing it like on the street and kind of didn't like earn the credit of these fake elitist magicians. Yeah. And then like like anything, they all started loving him when he got famous. Uh. But that's it's like a common thing. Like Penn and Teller, uh -huh. every magician hated them because they were the first magicians that revealed tricks. Um, but then people loved them because they got famous. It's a really interesting thing in my niche is in magic, which I don't see much in comedy. Yeah. Like in comedy, yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, you guys can tell me. So in magic, whenever there's a magician kind of pushing boundaries, mm -hmm. all of like the, the 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 top tier working guys, I'll call it the workers, they really don't like that person pushing those boundaries until they blow up. Like yeah. the way I say, the way I typically say it is like, no one cares until the world cares. Sure. The magicians, they do not like that. And then once people make it to that, like, Chris Angel, David Blaine tier, they're like, oh, no, it's okay. We like uh, them now. I think in magic, there's more, like, rules to magic. Like, isn't yeah. there a magician? Uh, what's the, like, the magician's code? I hear about this. Okay. So the magician's code, in my opinion, okay. Okay. is just Fugazi. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, like like don't get me wrong. There's the, the there's two rules that magicians kind of follow. It's and what like, are they? You never reveal your secrets uh -huh. and you try not to do the same tricks because if you do, people can figure them out. Uh -huh. But all of that, there's no like I don't have to sign an oath to do this. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And uh and that's why, like, and even the like the don't reveal tricks, even that's kind of a bogus thing. Cause if we look at the most successful magician of all time, David Copperfield who also is the most successful entertainer of all time, Wait, if you didn't know. More than ha Harry? Oh, yeah. 
what like finan- financially David Copperfield is the most the, the highest paid entertainer of all time. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm sure Taylor Swift will beat him. Yeah. But right now T <laughs> Swift fans, he's still above T Swift. Really? He has a wow. billion dollars? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a billionaire and he's Oh wow. And the craziest thing is he earned that doing shows. Like That's like, crazy. Just doing like I don't know, something crazy, like 12 shows a week, every week in Vegas, yeah. night after night, just like, he he earned that money. Yeah, yeah. He works. Yeah, he, he works. And uh, But Copperfield in that era would teach a trick on his special. So like, uh, he'd be this huge live special, he'd be like, he might show like a very small illusion that you could do from home, but it still broke the rule. Sure. Yeah. But you know that no magicians are going to give him flack, but if I <laughs> yeah. taught a trick on this show, yes. everyone would be like, let's kill John. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let's murder him. Wow. Like, for, like, humor me. Like, hold your hand out. Okay. Uh-oh. You're going to hold on to this. We'll get back to it in a second. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're in it. So if I taught that, they wow. would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I should have put that in there. Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wow! You know, like if I just taught how to yeah. make cards spontaneously combust, like ten magicians would pull up to my house with AK. No, I'm no, kidding. No. Well, <laughs> oh, God. I have a question. Okay, so the trick. So you just said trick. <laughs> you t- wait. You know what's great about magicians? You turn grown ass people into children. That is the goal. That yeah. is without a doubt the goal. You turn me. I'm. I'm not saying I'm not always a child, but you're gonna hear me go. <laughs> it, it feels like you make people like giddy or like react like they would as a little boy or girl. I I really I adamantly believe that that is the coolest part about being a magician. It's that, and I mean this wholeheartedly. Magic is one of the only art forms where not only you can watch adults relive their childhood for a small moment, but it's the only art form where you get that instant reaction, yeah. right? Like. That and music, right? Sure. And yeah. I should say comedy. Comedy, comedy, too. comedy as well. I we always say we're all cousins. We we are. Comedy, You're... music, and magic are cousins. Yeah. Because well, are it... you having this combo? You. <laughs> <laughs> I think comedy and magic are closer cousins. Looking, and music just... is like the cool other one. Oh, but... but no, it's bullshit. You guys are going to love this. Okay. Oh, here comes my hot take. Hot take. Magic and comedy. But I usually say magic. This is a line that I do sure. in my show. But magic and comedy are the hardest performing arts in the world. Without a doubt, no question, and I will explain why. Please. Because specifically for magic, well, well, you know what, here. Specifically, let's look at music. If you were going to see Taylor Swift at the Eras Tour or Billy Joel at the Garden, you'd be stoked all week. You'd be listening to their music on repeat. You'd be living it up. You would want to watch the piano man play piano man the best he ever has. Yeah. You go to see a magician or a comedian, the second you walk into that club, you go, fuck this guy. Yeah. I'm going to figure out his tricks. Uh, I hope he sucks. Or same thing with some comedians. They're like, this guy's not going to be good. Mm-hmm. Like, let's boo him. And the fact that we have that barrier, it really makes it tough. Because now, like, we have to get the audience on our sides. And, like, like no musician has to. They walk yeah. up, they sing, and everyone's like, Cool, as long as it's on key, I'm having fun. It's like yeah. a, we do the prove it art forms. Yeah. Go ahead, prove it. Yeah, exactly. We would say that we're the most insecure of all the artists. <laughs> 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 the ones seeking the most validation. <laughs> we need the validation. <laughs> Every time we go on stage, I want them to hate me, and I want to have to prove it. <laughs> if you can, if I can't make a person love me within seconds, I'm unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wow. like, I'm just like, please like me. I've been working on this for so long. <laughs> so this trick, right? I, um... Did you also some- just made us die laughing. Like, I don't know if it's a nervous tick or like... What do you mean? From We were laughing. Oh, from yeah. The from the, yeah. Because it's like fight or flight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I also think that you, neither of you knew when I would do something or what it would look like. Nah. And, and you immediately so the came la- in so hot. the last literally. thing you thought... It literally came yeah. in hot. <laughs> was fun. Yeah, the last yeah. thing you thought was I was going to almost make your entire room combust. <laughs> it was a big... It was big. <laughs> that was a big flame. <laughs> it was big. I, I was had a couple awesome. thoughts. No, gosh. <laughs> um... Did someone so for magicians? Do you have like a mentor that it's like you share tricks with each other, or so, do you come up with the tricks yourself? So that's there's a, there's a lot of questions in there, and I'll unpack okay. all of them. Like yeah. mentors, there are mentors in magic. There are like are people that a lot of like older magicians will teach younger magicians, nice. and uh, but also a lot of magicians will get together and hang out. And like when you find a group of magicians, if you kind of like kind of prove that you're on the same caliber, then all the sharing begins. Because you'll teach each other what you're working on. You'll help improve other people's routines, oh. so on and so forth. It's kind of 
I would imagine in comedy, like if you once you get your like your group of friends, you'll share jokes, get some feedback, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. So that's similar in magic. And who's are you inventing tricks? You're like, I know I could do this. Oh, so yeah. So I so I wouldn't say all magicians invent tricks. Uh -huh. Um, I would say there's a small group of magicians that invent tricks. Yeah. I would proudly consider myself one of those. Nice. I've actually created and sold magic tricks like online for like in all the magic retailers. I've made like instructional videos teaching professionals how to do my material. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, thanks. Wow. I always wondered like how people like do one trick to another. Okay. Like how, how, uh, how are you coming up with like your acts? Like, is there like something you should open with and then be like, okay, and these middle ones I could, like I need something big in the beginning and then cards in the middle. Yeah, then... so I think when you're developing an act, so it, it all depends, right? I think that a yeah. lot of magicians, the way that they would build an act uh -huh. would be get a bunch of material, try it, see if it's good, and then figure out how that fits together. For me, the way I built my act is I was like, what do I want people to take away from my show? Uh -huh. That was how I start my show. Yeah. It's like, what if if I went to see an act, how would I want to feel at the end? Yeah. I find that emotion and then I try to make my show fit those pieces. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Did you go to magic camp? <laughs> there is a magic camp, but I never went. Thank but God. shout out to Tannen's magic camp because <laughs> a lot of kids go there. <laughs> Have they ever tried to recruit you as like a guest counselor? Actually, yeah. Okay. And just I I, I got to guest ca counsel during the pandemic, so I did it on Zoom. Oh, but I've never like I attended. <laughs> yeah. Actually, ideal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll I'll be honest. I yeah I I totally get it. Like <laughs> yeah. He, even hearing about magic camp, the fact that it exists, I'm just like oh, but. I think it's really good for young magicians. So if you're watching and you're a magician, go to Magic Camp. It would be fun. I, I'll say this about like, uh, I know for comedy, but magic, I think it's true. You can tell me if I'm wrong or speaking out of turn. Yeah. That you really, it's an art form a lot of people hate to be involved in until you're great at it. And then they're so excited to see it. You absolutely nailed it. Like there's a turning <laughs> point where yeah, it's like yeah. such an eye roll thing to do comedy or such an eye roll to, I oh, gotta watch this magic trick until you're great. And then you are like the coolest person in the room. So I've been doing magic since I was eight years old. Nice. So that means elementary school, right? Magic's cool in elementary school. Yes. yes. And, yeah. Then you get to middle school. Oh. And it's like, eh. and then when you're the magic kid in high school and you're not six foot tall and you're a little overweight, <laughs> yeah. that is not who you want to be. I, I guess you were really, really good or not no, even. No, doesn't no, no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can't be the magic kid in high school. Yeah, not yeah. when there's like linebackers yeah, and quarterbacks. Nah, you're, you're not competing with them. Light and blunts with your fucking. Yeah. <laughs> you're not. Dude, okay. So my favorite, my favorite story about that is, uh, okay. Do you guys know the rapper Bobby Schmurda? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, fun fact for anybody watching or listening, I've happened to have a very lucky career where I've found ways to do magic for a lot of celebrities. Cool. Like a bunch, and we could talk about them at, sure. throughout this show. Yeah. But uh, so the reason why you said light of blunt, this is a really fun story. So I just did that trick where the card was on fire to you guys. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I somehow, in some twist of fate, ended up at the filming of a music video for Bobby Shmurda and Rowdy Rebel. And so I'm at the music video and I do this fire thing. Bobby goes nuts. He's like the biggest <laughs> character. That yeah. dude is a star. Yeah, like yeah, no, yeah. no joke. Guy's a star. But so then after I did it, whatever, he's like, yo, we still got the music video. But like after, could you light my blunt with that? And we'll like make a skit. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, sure. Yeah. Like, why not? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Why not? Sir Bobby Schmurda, who yeah. just got out of jail. Like yeah. anything for you, mister. <laughs> So we do it, and he, he literally told me, he's like, nah, dude, like, I want that flame huge. I want that flame so big. And I was like, dude, it's going to be big then. So, like, the first burst will be big. Yeah. And he goes, I don't care. And the video, like, it literally looks like I almost light him on fire. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you guys the clip because I think it would be really funny here. Yeah. But, like, I mean it. If you watched it, you'd be like. I was expecting TMZ to pick it up being like, Magician John Stessel lights Bobby Schmurda on fire. <laughs> and I was like, it was so good. Oh, man. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Did you really disarm somebody with that? Oh, it's yeah. like we just became friends. Oh yeah, we just bonded. We were that close to a fire. Who yeah. else have you met? That's that anyone that you're like, oh, that's amazing. I can't uh, believe I got to meet them. Or yeah, so that... and it's it's probably a hot take for online, but sure. Uh, probably one of my favorite people that I got to meet who was super cool to me was Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, nice. so like no exaggeration. I think he had just fit. So I did a lot of residencies and nightclubs, 
And uh, and because of that, any of the hip hop talent, whenever they'd be in New York, would end up at one of the nightclubs. And, and I you're get, walking around. Doing... I would, I'd be doing magic in the VIP section. Pretty much my goal was two things for the club. Like would be A, to make sure people would want to post videos of the club. Uh -huh. So I would do a lot of fire stunts, a lot of amazing like viral magic. Yeah. And it would make anybody that was there like take videos and post them. Sure. And it, what it really would do is it would make any high roller be like, let's get another bottle. Uh, like if they were yeah. really having fun. Yeah. So like they knew if a bottle was low, send John over there. He'll do some magic, keep the party going, and they might order some more. Oh. Um, and then the other role was to do magic for the celebrities to keep them around longer. Yeah. And I did magic for MGK. I can give you guys some photos of it for this. Uh -huh. um, and the coolest thing, so I do this one trick, I blow him away and the dude runs out of the VIP screaming and he's like six five he's, yeah, he's, a, he's, a, big he's a giant man yeah. yeah so he runs out and then runs back and he's just like that was fucking crazy and i'm on shrooms right now <laughs> and, and he's like i don't know what to do but dude that was great and i'm just like i like your music yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean that must be an ideal magic audience is someone tripping on shrooms i don't know but in this case yes <laughs> yeah. yeah oh god that's um, awesome yeah and he was he was so cool and then he even invited me to like stand on stage with him when he did his set and like uh i will say i've done magic for a lot of celebrities i'm normally not like i'm not starstruck or freaking out yeah but the fact that he's like yo just like come on stage with me and i was like Okay, Mister Mister Machine Gun Kelly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I happily will. And like once again, it's his it's his yeah. day. But even just that notion, and then being on stage with someone that I like, love their music. I really like. I'm like this dude fucking rocks. Yeah. And then getting to do that, like definitely top tier memory. So like MGK, way to be a cool guy. Oh, but what'd you do on stage? I feel like if I'm <laughs> as a grown man, if I was invited on stage, I, I would just kind of like like move my head up and no, down so, a little so, bit. So thankfully, I can do. This is called cardistry. It's okay. the art of manipulating playing cards. Okay. This is amazing. And for anyone that's just listening, I'm I'm shuffling cards, but in ways that most people have never seen before. Yeah. So they look really cool. I can't even do it in my hands. And so I just stood on stage next to him doing this. Oh, uh, so I so just was cool. like, yeah. Low stakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just like just literally, I was just like a stand-in. Yeah. I'll be really honest about my role there, but for me, like awesome. even looking back, I was like. This was crazy. And then I watched the videos back and I looked so embarrassing. Because you can tell. <laughs> There's nothing this you can dude, do at that point. Tell. What do you expect? Yeah. No, dude, like, you look at me Stand and you're like, you're like, you're like, this dude knows he shouldn't be there right now. <laughs> you're like, you can tell this dude has no. He's like, I'm like, oh, I'm so cool. And then I look back and I'm like, dude, you look, you look like such a nerd. Oh. But, but it was a super cool experience. And the only thing that still, that broke, that didn't break my heart, but it killed me. Uh was that next morning, yeah. MGK posted about the magician from the nightclub the night before, uh -huh. but he didn't know who I was, so he didn't tag me. Uh, and I was like, dude, the biggest cosign of my life. Yeah, that's tough. Biggest cosign, and it got missed, but that's okay. It was you still super cool, and I got some photos from it, so. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That sounds really hard, to be in a nightclub. It's loud music. People, it it's dark, and it's like, you gotta make an immediate impact. How are you gonna blow somebody's mind in that yeah, setting? It's, it's tough. Like, there's some ways to do it. I think. Are you guys gonna kill me if I stand up? No, you no, no, no. We out of frame. We are definitely. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna yeah. have you do. Can I have you do me a favor? I'm gonna just walk out of frame for a second. Okay. He's not doing anything. Watching the hands. Yeah, we're watching. Stand up if you okay. can. Okay. And I, what I want you to do is this: put your hands like this, okay. a little wider, because I don't want to cheat. And also, could you back up a tiny bit? Also, get out okay. of frame here. Okay. Do me a favor. I, I can't be near you, but. Here's what we'll do. I will, actually I should frame it a little better. I'll sit. If he starts make jerking me off, I'll believe in you. Sit down. <laughs> sit down. Wait, 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 sit, straight guys, me coming. I love you, baby. <laughs> okay, wait. Sit down. No, I'm okay. I, I, for, I forgot. I forgot all about framing because usually I do this stuff standing. So I'm uh -huh. gonna try not to move. Okay. Um. Okay. I think we're good. We're I'm good. So Are you in frame? Right, look at me right here. Just look at me yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Do not let me influence you. Stay right here with me. Okay. No, no. Eyes. Stay in my eyes. There we go. The eyes. Good, oh, good. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Answer me honestly. Do not let me influence you. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Okay, I want you to slightly shake one of your fists, just slightly. Okay, put the other one down. You can put it to your side. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this sharpie and make a little X on my palm right here. Okay, you guys know how sharpies work. Now this is the trick that I showed Machine Gun Kelly. Uh -huh. I'll let the camera see. It's a sharpie, and hopefully you gentlemen can. And you guys know, sharpies don't come off. No. This is where it's interesting. Watch the X. Because I can grab just some of that ink and pull it off my hand and toss it. 
Now, here's the thing. I told you to not let me influence you. Uh-huh. I told you to choose your hand. Yeah. Take a look. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta move. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. <laughs> so the reason why I wanted to show you guys that it's it, I wasn't even gonna do that, but the the story opened up, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which yeah. is the next day, and I'll give you guys that's this clip. Incredible. Machine Gun Kelly on his story is like this magician in the club made an X appear in my hand, and I don't fucking get it. And I'm like, please just tag me or go viral so that he yeah, can see yeah. this and then tag me. Yeah. Wow. Oh. He really got you got the X on the hand somehow. Yeah, it's sorcery. Wow, that's pretty incredible. I love that. I mean, that's it's hard. <laughs> I would imagine to be in a club and being like, get people to pay attention and wanting to be it because they don't do they sign up to know there's magic. At they this have club? no yeah, clue. So yeah, that's tough. Yeah, so I've done it for. I'll do some of. The, I'll give you guys some of the nightclub names. Uh, so in the nightclub, I've done magic for Fifty Cent, Machine Gun Kelly, Tyga. Uh, God, there's so many more. Oh, wow. um, uh, Future. Oh. oh God, I'll just keep going. <laughs> at one point, Travis Scott. Yeah. Um, who else? Oh God, there's so many names. Lil Pump, sure. um, which he's a character. Uh, Meek Mill. Pretty much anyone you could picture headlining a nightclub. Yeah. yeah. I've done, or I shouldn't say anyone, but a lot of people like that I've done magic for in nightclubs. And like, I have stories with all of them. Like, yeah. they're, a lot of them were cool. A lot of them sucked, as you'd imagine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And like, uh, 50 bad. 50 was the best. Oh, we love oh! Oh! We love <laughs> Yo, dude, 50 uh, is the man. I love it. Richard Dutch, no, man. Dude, dude, we're huge 50 fans. Dude, oh, it makes <laughs> me so happy. You dirty like yeah. that. Oh, dude, yeah. dude, the, the best part is, and I did Magic 50 twice. Oh, fuck And he yeah. was a homie every time. Oh, I love God. that. Like, the, the highlight of my life when I when he came back to a different nightclub, Matt, I'm doing it this one. And I go up to him and I'm and they're like, hey, so we have this magician. He's like, no, I know the guy. You were at Red Rabbit, right? I was like, oh, <laughs> that's awesome. He's like, me? Yeah. F- Sir 50? <laughs> and uh, the my fi- but once again, I'm going to keep throwing internet shame at people. Uh-huh. Fofty had the nerve to launch his TikTok, one of his first 10 posts, was my video, and he didn't tag me. Uh, but they pulled it off my TikTok, so it has my watermark. You could have just tagged me. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough to not get the tag. I know. and I get, know. That happens to us sometimes. We're like, we're struggling. Yeah, come <laughs> on. Throw like, us the tag. There'll be people like Mr. Beast who, there's no shade here, you're the, you're the goat, but who'll be like, no, like let people clip your videos. And it's like, sure. no, let them clip it when I have a million yeah, followers. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like we got to we gotta grow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know, People see some random magician. They're not going to be like, I know who that dude is. They're going to be like, oh, 50 cents cool. Like yeah. they're not going to yes, realize who yes, did it. Yes, 100%. So. Yo, guys, tag your creator. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that is so cool. Oh, it's thanks. so cool to meet those people, too, because I'm sure. Uh, how old are you? Oh, gosh, that's a great question. 29. Great. So 50, uh, 50 was like a big part of your life. Oh, oh my huge. God. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah. yeah. That was like a big. Uh, you're from Jersey. I can't imagine. Oh, that. no. Like me, me and my buddy used to like bump. Oh, dude. Me and my buddy used yeah. to bump like in the club. Of and like, course. Like all of his tracks when we were like in the fifth grade. We were acting so cool. Oh, like me and my buddy Jason Rubin used to love all the G Unit stuff. So. I'll make him sign a vitamin water for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, You got it, bro. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. What are some, like, so these are, like, awesome gigs. Coming up, like, I'm sure that you had shitty gigs. I'm sure that you've done, like, Sweet 16 or, like. Oh, yeah, I do plenty of bar mitzvahs. uh, God, they hurt. You go out to the Hamptons for that? Oh, I've done some in the Hamptons. (laughs) Oh, no, like. But what's, like, a hell gig that you remember that you had to do? Okay, a hell gig. Yeah. Actually, no, can I, I'm not going to tell you. The gig wasn't hell, okay. but what happened was hell. Okay. Yeah. So it's even better. So this is probably, it's a, it's a fun story because oh. it was really exciting. It was a gig that I was really excited about. Yeah. Okay, so uh, do you guys know who, uh, do you guys know who Marky Ramone is from the Ramones, the band? Like the band, the Ramones. I know the, I know the Ramones. Ramones. Yes. From the t-shirt. So, yeah, exactly. From the t-shirt. <laughs> there it goes. So Marky Ramone was the drummer and his brother, Joey Ramone, who has passed, was the front man. But Marky Ramone still performs. Mm-hmm. And he was doing a show at Gramercy Theater in New York. Great. And somehow I connected with his management uh-huh. and apparently like he likes magic and they let me open for him. Oh, oh fun. So Which cool. is so cool. And so like, Gramercy, that's yeah, like a like cool a New soul, York. A sold yes. out like. 2,500 or 2,000 people venue uh-huh. and I get to open yeah. and I get there and once again this is all like old punk rockers and I get there and I like notice that there's no mention of me on the bill 
Uh, <laughs> they're going to see a rock show. <laughs> so, so these people are like are watching because it's like very close to Christmas at the time. They're watching some rock and roll Christmas movie, and then they think Marky Ramone's coming on, and that is not what happens. Uh, <laughs> they watch this Christmas show, and then this cute little magician dude comes on stage for ten <laughs> minutes, and then Marky Ramone. So I have two thousand punk rockers literally booing me. For uh, two minutes straight. Uh, and I will say, I I, put, I literally, I made sure, and I, I had a feeling, I was like, I when I was setting up my act, I was like, I know none of these people will know or care about me. Yeah. So my first routine has to be to music. And if you ask any of my friends, I never do magic to music. Because sure. my whole character yeah. is just being like a charismatic, wacky guy. Yeah. So I, I literally remember, I was like, I'll do something to music for the first five. Because if they hate me, they can do it during something that I'm not talking. Yeah. And I swear, literally, the routine probably, I get to the halfway point in the routine, they stop booing and they're like, all right, we're going to wait. And then when I get to the mic, I literally walk up and I was like, yeah, I'd boo me too. And everyone erupts in laughter. Uh, and I was like, oh, I got him, I got him. That's nice. And then I finished my little set, finished the show, and Marky Ramone was super cool. Ironically, that night, I uh, not only did Magic for Marky Ramone, but I also did it for John Travolta. Uh, that's Whoa. awesome. Crazy. Uh, like a crazy thing to do, but yeah, it was a wild <laughs> night, but I mean it. So imagine going from getting booed off the stage with yeah. 2000 people, then doing magic for grease lightning backstage. It was a very odd day. Yeah. That's awesome. What the audience doesn't realize is that the person they're going to see must love Matt. Like if there's a surprise opener, the, yeah. that's not just like random. <laughs> the person you paid and you like wants that to be there. Oh, it's no. not by accident. They got to put it in the bill. Yeah, I mean, just, they do. That's, that's, like, that's, that's not fair like, to you. Oh yeah. It was, it was a recipe for disaster. Like, yeah. I, And I knew too, the second I saw that it, I was like, oh, I'm done. I like, yeah, you could feel it. Oh, I just knew. I just knew. I'm like, if I'm not on the bill and I'm like, and these are all people that are in their 50s to yeah. 60s like they're there for him so any break from that they are not going to be happy and they were not happy yeah. <laughs> i want him over but i still i am sweating right now just thinking about that show i've seen people that are like musicians come on and be like hey i really like what's about to happen so that's why i had them and then leave the stage no intro yeah uh, oh, no <laughs> intro. <laughs> yeah he's got to come out he's and introduce you <laughs> oh, oh dude it was in hindsight it was evil that's on i'm them. very proud of it it's yeah. like a cool thing to have done but oh yeah it's it's evil <laughs> you're married i am married did you um Yes, I Love saw you, the Allie. ring. Uh, 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 what, shout out one time, Allie. Oh, uh, shout out to my wife, Alexandra. I adore you, dear. Love you. We love that. Yeah. Did you did you pull a move because of magic? Was magic the first interaction? Believe it or not, no. But, so in, in some crazy twist of events, uh, my wife and I have been together since we were 14. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. She's a real one. So she really she, stuck by the wow. top. <laughs> that's really that's, Oh, yeah. I, oh, and, and, now she's walking around. Look, I think <laughs> right. <laughs> I picked one. <laughs> she might be thinking that. Just flowers appearing in her oh. shirt randomly throughout the day. No, she would die. If a flower appeared, she'd be like, get out of here, John. Yeah. Oh. I'm at work. <laughs> oh, man. But no, uh, Alexandra is literally, I tell people this all the time. She is truly my favorite person. Like, yeah. I, I know it's so cheesy, but like, I am so, I'm so grateful and so happy that I have an awesome life partner. And she's got to see like a lot of the rise of it. Yeah. And also, she was the girlfriend that went to the other school when I was in high school so like imagine being the magician and my uh, girlfriend went to another school uh, Ooh, uh, but tough. <laughs> love you babe yeah that's really that's because I know there was this like trope that like like guys go to the bar and they're douchey and they pull out their magic trick and and, and so it would work oh there we go <laughs> I'm just seeing if I should invest. Uh, should I get into magic? Well, now you've got a teacher, so like, I'll just I'll give you all the layups. Like, here are the tricks that work. I, I think the reason why it works though, it's less about magic. It's more about like overall because I, I I have plenty of friends that use magic to meet women and all these yeah. other things. And I think the or just meet the opposite gender doesn't matter sure, what gender. Whoever you're interested. Yeah, in. whoever you're interested in. Yeah. But I think the reason it works is because who has enough brass to be in a bar right now being like pick a card sure. like really you're that confident in yourself yeah. that you're gonna do and i think that once that any any person like establishes like no i'm gonna do a show yeah. for one person in a nightclub it's like first they go you go through a range of emotions they're like this is weird uh-huh this is interesting 
he's kind of funny, and funny always helps. Yeah. Always. He or she's <laughs> funny. And then it's like, and then of course, if it's amazing, yeah. then you just hit the, the full the full package. Yeah. So that's kind of why I think magic works when people are trying to meet the opposite gender or whoever they want to be with. It, yeah. It like, it really, you could tell, it really, uh, it, it puts them in a way where it's like, huh, I don't know. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, you're funny. Oh, and you did something amazing. Yeah. And you had yeah. the you had the brass to do this in public. Yeah, and that's why I think it works. I can tell your media trains because you keep adjusting from balls to brass. <laughs> <laughs> you keep yeah, you oh yeah. You want to say you had the balls? Oh to man! And I hear you go. You got the brass. <laughs> No, yeah, oh yeah. no, no lie. You my, can hang with us, no, bro. No, no, dude, dude. My, my, my dad's watching. He's like, yeah. Why didn't you say balls, pussy? No. That's exactly what my dad would say if he watched. This. You're me. He's media trained. Yeah. Things are going well. Yeah, not he, me. <laughs> I brought up a coke story. Uh, no, it was great. It was great. Uh, uh, we still need the guy in the computer to tell us he's from Staten Island. I think he was. <laughs> Long Island, oh, oh no. Chris Angel. Boo, uh, boo. Um, <laughs> but I was gonna say you probably feel it's like you feel vulnerable but safe. Oh, you That's, nailed that. I'm like vulnerable because I don't know how the fuck you just violated me. <laughs> but I'm safe because you did it in a way that it all worked out and it was cool and it entertained me. Yeah, I, I think Which that's, is what people want in a relationship, to feel vulnerable and safe. Yeah, I think that's exactly what people want in a relationship. There it goes. That's me. The relationship king. <laughs> well, I'm saying ma this is why mag magicians at a yes, certain no, level. Keep saying this. This is good for the yeah, brand. This is good for the no, brand. Keep being hot. No, I completely <laughs> agree. This is vulnerable and safe. This is what the ladies and the men want. This is what, that is what anybody wants, wants yeah. in a relationship. So that I would imagine a good magician does well uh, in the dating department. Yeah. I Maybe. I, I think until you, think you go on some dates. I think so there's the, some weird. It helps them get on dates. I think that yeah. probably one of the most tricky parts for any entertainer is we are anyone in entertainment we're just all nuts yeah. we are just yeah, yeah. crazy okay, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like i fight the devil every fucking night yeah like <laughs> like i i make every jokes. night it's me <laughs> sucking the devil's cock in my room <laughs> i'm just trying to go to bed again <laughs> get it out of his mouth damn yeah. oh whoa come on we're pg-13 right, podcast yeah. no, <laughs> no, no, it's no, fine. Fine. Um, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. no it shit's good no like i literally i tell i'll tell any of my friends i'm like oh, i'm sorry like you you won't understand me i'm playing in my head right now what do you mean you're playing in your head right now yeah. i'm just doing like some jumping jacks up here just like i gotta think through this one trick i'm working on sure I'm and it's like and you yeah. just see me like at a bar alone like do you rent a cabin sometimes and just go away and you're like i gotta think about tricks definitely have done a creative retreat or two yeah um less about cabin more about just like a place where there's a walmart nearby Oh, because you're, uh, you're picking yeah. up toys. To yeah, play like like I think the best the best way to do a creative retreat, I would say for any creative, I recommend this, provided you can do it. Uh -huh. Um, like just go somewhere that it can be an Airbnb on the side of the friggin' road. It doesn't. Yeah. You don't need cool things to do. All you need is a secluded place, but you need like stuff that fuels you. So like for me, like if I don't have like cardboard nearby and scissors and random sewing things, like yeah. like I'd be out. So go to a place that has the stuff you're looking for. Like specifically for comedians. If I were doing a retreat, I'd want to go somewhere that still had a stage nearby. Because uh, comedy, you like it's comedy's the only art form really. You can't tell your your friend a joke and it works. No. You need a stage where like magic. If I have like three people, I can pull off the thing sure. like this setting right here, and it yeah, still yeah. will feel right. Where comedy, like you need to get on a stage or else you don't know if that that material hits. It's true, and you want strangers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. oh even for magic, you need strangers. Strangers is so. It, you, there's something I seek approval from people I don't know more than anyone else in my life. Oh, yeah, I get that. It's kind <laughs> of wild. Like someone that, like my mother would be like, I love you so much. I go, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I would say that I would never <laughs> one. I would never disrespect my mother, but that's how I feel sometimes. Oh no, I, I get. And it's yeah. also like, come on, mom. Like, I you have to love me. Yes. You have no choice. Yes. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm great or horrible. You literally have to love me biologically. You can't help it. But like when strangers think I'm funny, yeah. oh man! <laughs> Can I tell you something embarrassing. Please do. Last last couple of nights, I've been looking online, and I was gonna try to do a trick for you. But Please. I, I couldn't pull it off. No, I, I, no, I, I, practiced, no. I practiced too many times. No, you and gotta I try. Do it. You gotta try. I was, no, I can't do it. It was so one of them was like one of those stupid math card tricks. That's my. That was my go-to. Oh, math. Card I did that in great. middle school. Yeah, the seven, seven, oh, seven, so, and you. Yeah, the uh, twenty-one. Someone yeah. made a great joke about that trick, which was this isn't my joke. Uh, I am plagiarizing, but someone's like, someone needs to just go on because Penn and Teller have a show called Fool Us. 
where if you fool them, you win the trophy. It. They're like, someone's got to go on that show and just do the 21 card trick because no one knows how that shit works. <laughs> and they just count the seven piles. They tell yeah. them the card and they're like, "We, I know you don't know that math, Penn and Teller, because no one does. It's a mystery. Sure. That, that's like some PhD level shit. Yeah, it's like you ain't figure figuring out. this out. Yeah, yeah. I was really? looking at that trick. Oh, dang, um, I wish you would have. And then I, I I saw a trick with uh like jokers in the deck. Oh, okay. Um uh I could try it. Do you have jokers in that deck? I, let me look. It might. I could try it. And let's be aware. It might be bad. <laughs> <laughs> it might be bad. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to think. We now. have a magician on Sebastian's doing tricks. <laughs> I mean, this is this is how self involved I am. <laughs> oh yeah. No, wait. this is great. All right, hold on. Let me think. Um how's this go? Um all right. All right, let me take the cards. <laughs> oh, to him? oh, hell yeah. Let me shuffle. Okay, <laughs> here we go, here we go. All right, pick a card, then card. I want this one. Okay, look at it. Close your eyes so I can show the cameras. Yep. Because the okay, cameras, I need, want to the know cameras need to eat first. Yes. All right, All you're right. good. <laughs> great, great. Place on top. Excellent. Uh, cool. All right, Robbie, cut that deck as many times as you want. Now that you've come on a podcast for comedians, <laughs> we have to do a trick for jokers, okay? Okay, uh, okay. you are two jokers, and you are the rest of the card. <laughs> so all I have to say is that no matter what, are we done with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I didn't even I do the magic thing. Oh, I love it. The patter, He's the patter's on up. point. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I've never been bored with this <laughs> So here's the thing. When you come hang out with jokers, and you're hanging out with us, no matter what card you pick, it's going to be... In between oh, the two jokers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Is that right? Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Eddie had like I mean, you know how I did story. it. Of course, but still. <laughs> yeah, well, so, My hands were... Uh, I, 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 was, I was terrified. I mean, it's an okay trick. No, it was great. That was great. I've that was done great. it a couple times by myself. I'm, I'm, oh, pr I'm proud of you for practicing that. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's, that was hard work. I was actually so... My arms were... <laughs> <laughs> I was before for so many people. <laughs> oh man! Oh, thank you. Well, no. So it's, I, I love that you did that trick. So in magic, that's called a sandwich trick. Yeah. Because yeah. the card appears sandwiched between the two jokers. It's like a very popular, interesting plot, and there's like fun ways to do it. Uh huh. Now this is something I I I don't perform because you did that great, but it made me like Stop. think maybe I should try to do a sandwich trick. That's fun. So oh, here, yeah. here's there's what you're gonna story. do. You're gonna take anyone out. Look how he he fans. <laughs> okay. Remember it? Do you like it? I love it. We love it. Do All me right. a favor. Say stop. Should we show? Stop. The, we I'll show the camera. Oh, you'll show the camera. Yeah, make it easy on you. Uh, camera got it. Thank Camera's you. Fed. Yep. Yeah. What we're gonna do is this. We're gonna take the card mm -hmm. and we're gonna lose it in the middle of the deck. There's no moves. You can see where it goes. Mm -hmm. Nothing in my hands. Now, before we do anything, can you make sure that there's nothing stuck to the back of the Joker? Make sure nothing is stuck. Make sure nothing nah, is stuck. Yeah. Just the joke. Yeah, it's very important because okay. if you think something's stuck, it kind of ruins the illusion. Okay. Right? Okay. Because the idea is this. What I'm going to try to do is take the cards, air them over the jokers, and one card will appear in between. Sure enough, oh. that should be the... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the little oh element. my God, yes! <laughs> of the two jokers. I did a scramble. He did a Benedict. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we made it a little different. <laughs> brought the, the, the heat wow yeah and then you can you can do it different ways too so like watch the four remember i told you one of the rules is you never do the same trick twice uh -huh. yeah. fuck that rule so we'll take the Ooh, card yeah, yeah. here's what we're gonna do we'll leave it between the jokers and we'll lose it in the middle so i don't even touch it on its way in okay no now touch. here's what's interesting i am gonna try to stand so i'm gonna try to bring the mic with me because oh, it please do. is a little harder there we go Here's what I'm going to do. Can I have you hold your hand out flat like a table? And as you can see, just the two jokers. Yes. I want you to put your other hand on top. Uh, perfect. And you're going to just hold on to the jokers for me. Watch out. Uh, yeah, put perfect. The jokers. You're just going to hold on to these. And here's what I'm going to do as I try to talk on the mic. One card. First, we'll shuffle. One card is going to leap out of the deck. And if I get it to stick to my hand, hold on. Get it to stick to my hand, it's going to vanish. <laughs> <laughs> Open your hand because you guys know where the ending is, guys. <laughs> what sandwich between <laughs> is, the... is back? <laughs> wow, that was incredible. Yeah, I looked at your hand the entire time. Yeah, I don't get how that worked. That was just and also stop. I, I stop. <laughs> yeah, I just do magic and black out. It's just I have no recollection of, of anything that happened. That was so cool. Oh, thanks. 
Sorry, I wow. did a trick for you. That must be like someone. Do people come up to you often and say, "Can I do a trick for you?" Uh, can I do a trick for you? And uh, can you make my wife disappear? Very common. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm so sorry. I did that. Too. No, no, no. It's a lot more fun in uh, this setting. Yeah, <laughs> because the people that do it aren't performers. They didn't stay up night at night practicing <laughs> to try to do it. Like they're just like, I can show you a trick, and I'm like, No, you can't, sir. Yeah. No, you can't. I know you can't. You say you can. I know you can't. Oh, here are my cards. Then they get them wet and they fucking drop them, and sure. I'm like, Oh, lovely. And they pull it in their pocket. Huh, it's gone. Yeah. Not you're not funny, no. Doug. No. Uh, uh, Fuck you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, a lot of people. The massages. Hey, I hate my wife. I I can't wait for that to die off. It needs I hope to in our generation it, it the ends. The ball and chain <laughs> divorce. Anyone yeah, can get divorce you whenever can, they want. You so can be with someone you like <laughs> oh, yeah. every day, every single day. Like I I tell all my friends this. I'm like, when you're finding your life partner, like. Throw away your idea of love. Go find someone you like. Like, because yes. oh. you're going to grow to love these people. Like, yeah. I don't like my my dad half the time, but I love my father. Sure. Yeah. But I don't want to hang out with him every day. No. But, like, you know you want to hang out with your boys or your girls or whoever. For me, like, Allie, we, I talked about her earlier. Like, that's my best friend. Yeah. Like, she's my homie. Like, I know I will have more fun with Allie than any of my other friends. And that's what I think people miss. They're like, looking for this romantic idea of love. And it's like, no, you find someone you like, and then life is going to be amazing. I well, promise you. I think like love is a choice. You choose to be open to love someone. Right? Yes. Yes. Uh, and I think that people look for that spark, but like is a spark being sexually attracted to them. is a spark. Yeah. Like all that shit is sparks. Yeah. I think that like, that's such a beautiful point to like them. Cause you, there's like this TikTok I've, that I follow. It's, they say like romantic stuff. I'm single. Uh, <laughs> Really fighting the devil every night. <laughs> looking at romantic TikToks. Uh, relationship kink. Follow it on Insta. Uh, relationship kink? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I love it. Uh, and oh. someone called me out for following it the other day. And one thing is like, um, you will spend this many uh, meals with your partner. You will go on this many vacations. You'll spend this many holidays. So they really show you that. Like, it's the day-to-days that matter. And these you'll be having these opportunities with them. So liking them is what's so important. Oh, my God. Yeah. And. I think it's just, it's so clear because all of us, right? Uh, when you have your group of friends, you like them. Yeah. You want to spend time with your homies, your friends. like, And then you think of your significant other in a different way. And for me, what I've learned, what worked for me and why I've been with my wife now over, we've been dating entirely through. No wow. breaks, no nothing like that. Like we've been together since we were 14, over 10 years. And the thing that's key is like, I just like her. Yeah. Like if it, that's if, my, awesome. if my friends were like, you want to hang out? I'm like, no, I'm hanging out with Allie. She's so cool. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's what I nice. want. That's what you want. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what you want, really. Yeah. That's does she uh watch you do does she come to like gigs and she's like, that's my man? Or so she's over it. Uh, okay. she's I wouldn't seen. say she's over it. I would say yeah. that the best way to put it is Allie is just like the opposite of me. Yeah. So like like she's just like, Yeah, that's what John does. And she's always known that. So yeah. like going to a gig alley would be like, Can I just like maybe not? And stay home and cuddle and i'd be yes. like yeah go for that yeah because um, you're doing you also exactly it's not like especially it what sounds like you're like working a room yes you must be great to bring to like a party though i would i would hope so i would hope so yeah, but is there a pressure you don't uh, want to do magic everywhere you go yeah but i just mean personally you, uh, you're good yes. at small oh 100 oh yeah but i'm sure everywhere you go someone wants a trick every it doesn't matter where i go and you guys get this being comedians yeah. like Tell me a joke, yeah, show yeah. me a trick, and it's, it's like, kill me. just let me exist. Yes. Yeah. Like, I'll I'll be funny. Yeah. If I yeah. feel so inclined, I'll do something crazy. Yes. Yeah. But, like, don't don't make me that, like, don't make me the reason you're there. Because so many people do that. Where, like, I've gotten invited to weddings, and I'm like, I got invited so people can be like, oh, John's here, and he's going to do magic. And then I had to do magic. Uh, that's so fucking oh, That's yeah. really annoying. Horrendous. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Funeral? You ever do one at a funeral? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's added pressure. This is what you all want in the room, okay? <laughs> no. I, I will say no. Can you bring God. Papa back to life? <laughs> <laughs> Nana is well, crying a lot over there. Can you help, John? <laughs> oh, man. That would be rough. Yeah. Damn. Um, yeah, I, you said before we started, you're like, yeah, because uh, I was like, you can do some tricks if you want. Not, uh, we're just, uh, it's about talk, and I'm happy that you did tricks. But you said, oh, yeah, I am I know the feeling of being a dancing monkey, which I know that exact, like, phrase, and it feels horrible. Oh, yeah, it's it's just tough. And and once again, you, you feel this, and I'm sure both of you feel this at some point. Yeah. There's this obligation on yourself, like, 
oh, well, like, I have this innate gift. I, like, I'm really good at crowds or in rooms. And, yeah. like, and who am I to, like, have this thing and be like, yeah. no, you can't enjoy it. Sure. But it's hard because nothing's worse than someone looking at you not being, like, just come be you. It's like, no, come, come. If it's, it's an account, if you're an accountant, come do my taxes. Yeah. No, you're not doing my taxes when you come over. It's like, yeah. so it's, it's tough. It hurts. It, and I know you guys get it. Magic is brutal. I, it's worse than doing comedy. Cause if I go to a wedding, people just want me to drink and make jokes, <laughs> which is great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the same point, that's what I want to do is stand in the center of a circle and just tell stories. Um, but for magic, you're really like, do you not drink? Oh no, I drink. Uh, I was gonna, uh, we're gonna I'm be really gigs. Clear. We're gonna be really clear. I do. I love. I would say it's definitely my favorite vice. Like, okay. Uh, drinking. Yeah. I just. I enjoy. Uh, like, I'm not Bert. Sure. But yeah, yeah. Love me a cocktail at sunrise. Love me a cocktail <gasps> at sunset. Oh, all like, right. The sunrise cocktail. Yeah. Is a just real like one. any. Oh yeah. Like like so. I I just I actually I didn't tell you guys this, but yeah. I had a show in Florida yesterday. Oh. So I saw. yeah. So I flew to Florida the day before or the day of the show, mm -hmm. and then I flew home yesterday night, and then I came to this. Um, wow. Oh wow. But so like, but if I have a flight at Thank like you. six a.m., no, don't mention it. Yeah. Um, but if I have a flight at six a.m., where's my mimosa? Like, I'm getting on a flight. I uh, need a mimosa. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. And, yeah. There's just like, uh, there's something that is really fun about it. Totally. It's and must it's be horrible to for do. my body. Yes. <laughs> Well, anything that you're working in nightclubs and that, like, once you're uh, off, it's like you want to. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, especially early on, you get paid. Free drinks is free like drinks. a lot of the payment. Oh, you, you <laughs> so gentlemen get it. Like, it yeah. Is, oh, my God. There's nothing worse than when I used to do the nightclub stuff and, like, be dying for any money. Like, come on. Like, can the pay. Because, you know, I was supposed to be paid and eventually some money would come through. Sure. Yeah. But you're yeah. waiting for weeks. And it's like, well, John, here, how about a bottle? And it's like, no. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah why yeah. not? I have have to. 50 cent is right yeah. there. But. Yeah. Oh, that's my, honestly, that's my, my favorite thing I've ever got. Definitely like a career highlight was I opened, I was at the grand opening of a nightclub called Red Rabbit Club. It's no longer around because that's how New York City is. Uh -huh. Yeah. Also, shout out to Nathan Leong for one of the people that I say gave me my start. Leong? Nathan Leong? One of the two. Nathan Leong, shout out to Nathan Leong for being the first person to ever really put my magic on. I adore you, sir. Uh, and he, I went and convinced him to let me do magic for his nightclub. What I didn't realize was that Nathan's had a grand opening coming up of a new nightclub with 50 cent. And so I convinced him like, just let me do magic at your nightclubs. Like yeah. I'll make it affordable. And here's my pitch. And he's like, and I convinced him to let me go. So I, I sent like 200 DMS. Ev no, from everyone, anyone yeah. in the New York city nightlife scene. I just wanted to find a way to perform. Sure. And then this guy, Nathan Leong answered my DM and he was like, so you're saying you'll come and do a free magic show. Even if I don't book you. And I'm like, yes, and he's like, all right, cool. Like my friends will think that's fun. Like, come hang out. Yeah. Go to his office in New York in Midtown. Blow him and his and the three or four people away, away that were there. Uh -huh. And then he, like people in the nightclub industry do, he made me negotiate live on the spot there to get my rate where he wanted it, <laughs> which you know was fun. <laughs> which is, yeah. But jo jokes aside, there uh, we we make a handshake shake deal uh -huh. uh, where I'm gonna do magic in this in his nightclub yeah. uh, once a week. And then he goes, so the thing I didn't tell you was that you're not doing it at the nightclub you think you are. You're doing it at a new nightclub that I'm opening in three weeks, and you're going to you're gonna co-host the grand opening with 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I would have negotiated more money. <laughs> what? What's 50 getting paid? Yeah, like, come on. But, yeah, yeah. And so there's That's a, awesome. Though. There's a photo. There's a video of me on TMZ, which... I don't matter at all, but uh, there's a video from TMZ that they took of me shuffling cards next to 50 at the opening, and then somewhere, which I wish I could find this video, I don't have this. That's your but move. What? I got to pop. I got to pop the first bottles of champagne uh, with 50 in the club. That's incredible. Oh, that's, I mean, that's, you don't get cool. That's, that's worth. That's that. worth. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like, like I yeah. could die happy. Yeah. That was yeah just, that's awesome. It doesn't get more. Fun. You had middle school bullies hitting you up, be yeah. like, "What's good, John? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Find me in the club." <laughs> all the girls that used to blow me off were like, "Oh, John, what are you doing?" now yeah. i'm like i'm still with that girl from the other school <laughs> yeah uh. kick rocks that's so incredible this is so so amazing i'm so happy that like you get to like live this fun life where you get to meet uh, amazing people and do your art form in front of them well, thank you it's, it's cool because you get to see their reaction like if someone comes to a comedy show they're in the dark Oh yeah, and uh, you get to like literally look in Fifty Cent's eyes to see what he thinks of you. I get heart. to look at Fofty dead in the eyes yeah. and say, "Get the strap." No, no. 
Oh man, but yeah, no, there's there's definitely a specialness to that. However, the thing I've been doing lately yeah. is I've been working on my one man show. Sure. And uh, and that's so I, I've totally got to understand that idea of like doing things. I'll bring somebody on stage a lot of the time, but yeah. like you're performing to white lights. So yes. I know that feel I'm like learning that feeling. Collective now. noise. Yeah, collective noise. It's yeah. a, an unusual thing. Um, are you trying to do a run at a place or are you that's, trying to Oh, that's the goal. So if you know any places, ironically, the uh -huh. first my first one man show that I ever brought to New York, I did at Caveat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So that's yeah. why, and we were talking online that you was like, I see, saw the logo at Caveat and stuff like that. Yeah. So. For, I think it's Rat Scraps. Yeah. Yeah. Rat Scraps. yeah so exactly. rat, rat Scraps bookmarked my show. So it was like Rat Scraps, Rat Scraps, Rat Scraps, John Stessel, The Magic, One Night Only, Rat Scraps, Rat Scraps. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what this rat thing is, but like, good for them. They got to yeah. run. Yeah. That's an uh, improv show I do every week. If you want to stream it online, hit me up. I got a promo code. Yeah. Uh, do it. Do it. Watch the, watch the improv show. Uh, That's so cool. And where would be the dream location? for you to be performing at oh i mean for me i think either some sort of off-broadway theater i yeah. mean the, dr the dream would be to do broadway the to do broadway. a, yeah, a one-man yeah. show on broadway just yeah, like yeah, yeah. like ricky j did before me like uh -huh. do a one-man act center stage on broadway but before that obviously i'm i'm no dummy we gotta crawl before we can run of yes course. i of just course. did my first proper theater show in hoboken oh, oh fun that's thanks theater. it was the mile square theater okay oh, and yeah, yeah, i've heard of that oh thanks and uh we we sold it out so whatever Oof. the 120 seats got oh nice that's a nice yeah yeah, yeah. And that, to me i'm like all right I, I'm, I'm starting to get that piece so uh -huh. that is ideally what's next but hopefully i'll have more updates on that in the future that's so cool. And that's, that's exciting. What's great about you having social media is that people will know where you are yeah. because of that. It's like you have to play that game to get oh, this. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you both get this more than yeah. anything. Social media is how we sell everything now. Yeah. It's no. like if you don't have a following, no one wants to even look at you. And it's like, no, I'm I'm funny. Yeah. I don't need a following to be funny. And yeah. it's a tricky thing. It's a very tricky thing. Yeah. Um, this is beautiful. Is there anything else about magic that you feel like you want to like tell the people? I or? will. I just want to make sure that I'm not late to this show. What time did I say I have to leave? Man in the back? Okay, so I'm like right at time, which is good. We're yeah, still I was, good. Look, I no, I okay, I would. I am down to try a new trick that I've never done before. Oh, so shit, I want to state that if it sucks, we cut it. Okay, okay, because okay. okay. I've never, I've never done this before. Can I tell you something also? Yeah, your tricks are amazing. Before I reacted so much that I let out a little foof. <laughs> <laughs> I farted. <laughs> you, you trick. So I'm not worried because oh, you my farted. God, that's you, amazing. You, you, you trick made me fart. No, from happy. no, that is. A, that is without a doubt the best reaction story I have. It's going on my list. Okay. I'm on a podcast. I did a crazy trick. And then the podcast host was like, I farted. <laughs> I laughed. I went, ah. Oh, my God. That's freaking gold. Yeah, that's you amazing. Made, you made my body feel stuff. You, you made my body feel stuff. That's so good. All right. Okay. All right. So this new trick. Yeah, this is new. I don't, I, never seen before. Never seen before. I've, I've only ever workshopped this with my friends. So this is new. Beautiful. We've got a quarter. Unless you guys have a quarter. We're going to use mine. I love we'll use yours. I don't have a quarter. I want you to put your initials on one side, and then I'll have you put your initials on oh, the other side. This is great. This is nice. This is exciting. Yes. There you go. Nice, Robbie. Um, of course, I get head. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Get, I, I'm so I annoyed. Tail, <laughs> gets head yeah, and gets head go. and then farts. <laughs> So here's the idea. I've got a little red envelope here. Okay. This is to keep for safekeeping. Oof. For safekeeping for the quarter. Ladies. Okay. And we'll <laughs> close this up. Can you hold this? You can see where the quarter sits, but hold it like this so it's in frame. Yep. Make sure it's in frame here. I also have this, which is a little gift that we're going to get to in a second. Okay. Oh. So here's the idea. What I'm going to try to do, and before we do anything, can either of you guess what's in here? Uh, gumballs. Ooh, I like gumballs. I thought it was jelly beans, it sounded like. Are you a magician? Stop. How did you know? Stop. <laughs> that's crazy. Stop. But that's not what's crazy. You know what's crazy? What? Watch. Can I see this? Look. What's happening? The coin is completely gone. What? See, you knew it would be jelly beans. Uh -huh. But here's the thing. What I didn't tell you was before this. Inside the jelly beans, oh, no shit. you're going to see there's a key ring. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah, I see Would that. Would you mind just reaching over and pulling out what's in the center of these jelly beans from before the whole time? This you're going to no notice way. there's a quarter that's clipped with your initials on it. 
They did fade, but you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, wow. wow, there we go. <laughs> wow. Pretty awesome. That's awesome. Yo, wow. Sharpie, step your game up, I dog. Know, Indelible ink. Very impressive. That's incredible. That's why. Yeah, that's, I, I watched you looking at it. I was like, I know that's the coin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I know it's that's definitely. the coin. Oh, yeah. RN. Oh, it probably. SC. It fade yeah. a little bit. Oh, dude, it's on my thumb. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. <laughs> but that is the coin. That's amazing. Yeah. How, it's odd. Oh, God. It's so. It's would, so would either of you like a jelly bean? I'm no, down. thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's just for me then. Um,. Jelly bean, one of the weaker candies. I'll go straight for a Reese's <laughs> or a Sour Patch Kid. If we're talking, oh no, no, this is important. No. This is for my friend that might be listening. So my buddy Kyle, yes. yeah. my buddy Kyle, has the hottest take of all time, which is that sprees are the best candy. Ooh, Ooh that is a hot That's take. a real two thousand. Who the yeah. fuck like sprees? That dropped with AOL. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't even. Because they last long. You could suck for a while and you could chew. I don't... I didn't even know you could still buy sprees. Yeah, I don't never, think you I haven't can. seen them. That's like a CVS like discount bin kind of candy. If you get sprees in your candy, you're just like, what is this shit? Damn. Damn, I can't believe you got it in the jelly beans. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I, I also, I love that the big finale is that this wiped off. Like, how lame is that? That's funny. No, I can see the RN. No, sure. we're good. We're good. I'm, gl I'm glad it was RN. still it there. It was definitely the same it coin. It was still too. the same coin. It's definitely. It, it was a special coin. Oh, no, not New a special Jersey. Coin. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you needed to know, it is the Jersey, Jersey coin, and that, which that's, we love. That's it. That's the move. Um, is there anything that you want to plug for people to follow you to watch? Because you post amazing oh, uh, TikToks, you. Instagram about stuff like uh, your tricks. Everyone, if you're watching or listening, my name is John Stessel. It is that on all platforms. So at John Stessel, J O H N S T E S S E L. If you're interested in magic or just want to watch some dude be a dweeby magician online, consider following, subscribing, Hot watching. Magician. <laughs> hot, hot magician. Show. Yo, hot magician. I, he's married, but hot. Yeah. Not for the internet. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Al, Allie knows, but just like for anyone that wants to follow, if they want to think I'm single, you can think that. Yes. Just, yes. I'm sure she's cool with that too. Just, just <laughs> we need please, followers. I need Allie. Robbie? Yeah. Uh, Robbie Nunez on all platforms. Um, and for me, uh, I will be breaking the magician's code. If you sign up for the Patreon, I will tell you how to do the trick I did. <laughs> yes! <laughs> His one joker trick. Yes! I will he tell you how to it. do the magician trick. If you sign up for the Patreon, I'll ruin my magic career by by telling you the one trick what, I learned. What, what amount are you at on the Patreon? Oh, what do you mean? For like 40-ish, like, yeah. like what's your people. What's your goal? Where do you guys want to get? We want 100 by the end of the year. We dropped it a couple All right, if, if they get 100 Patreons by the end of the year, I will go on the Patreon and I will teach how I did the X on the hand trick. Oh! oh we love it. Thank you, and John. And then magicians will hate me. Wow, <laughs> there we go. Guys, don't I, disappoint. I, come I on. I know how to do it. Yeah, I will, I will ruin it for everyone. And all of you will be like, that's fucking lame. I hate that I know this now, but... <laughs> Sign up for the Patreon. Learn yes. a free magic trick. You're gonna. It's honestly dope secret too. I'm gonna get in so much trouble by all those magicians. <laughs> I hear that. Uh, oh, someone told me that the magicians. The best part is when the trick is already done and you're just performing. Oh, there's nothing better. Cause you know there that everything's already in place and you're just performing. And yeah. You, you want an example before I leave? Yeah. Look at me. Huh? Look at me. Okay. I'm going to give something for your imagination right now. Humor me, both of you. Uh -huh. I want you to imagine a face-up deck of cards, okay? Okay. Face-up deck of cards. Okay. Uh, with one card reversed, okay? So yeah. you can see the back of it. You can see the color. You know what it looks like. Uh -huh. We don't know what that card is. Now, I want you to imagine me squaring that into a deck, mixing it up, putting it back into its box, and then throwing it to the back. Did you guys make that image in your head just now? Yes. Kind of, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, before we did it, what color was the back of the card in your head? Red. Red. It's funny. Okay, it's interesting. It, you know what? Red. Okay. I thought it, it is blue in a, in a blue box, but red is the card. Okay, I like this. It's good. Humor me. In a deck of cards, there are four suits. I want you to pick a suit. Club. Club. In a deck of cards, you've got tons of values, ace through king, but I'm going to tell you one thing very specifically. Most women... Pick a queen or a jack. Most men pick an ace or a king. Do not let it influence you. I'm just letting you know that that exists because you, if you go, ace of clubs, everyone's like, he picked the ace. Yeah. With that knowledge, choose the value. I was going to do jack the see, whole time. See, I'm good, right? Yeah, like it's, it's in that I was going to do jack the whole time. <laughs> do you want to stick with jack or do you want to change down. your mind? Yeah, let's stick You're with down. It. So if we did this correct, if I'm not mistaken, 
It's the Jack of Clubs. Yes. Do you guys feel like that was a fair choice? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give you both one last chance. Change your mind if you want. Are you happy with clubs? Yeah. Are you happy with Jack? I'm happy, yeah. That was what I pictured. Remember before this, I said, imagine a face-up deck of cards with one card reversed, put back, shuffled, lost in the center, put in the box, and then thrown to the back? Yeah. And then remember, I said, what did you think the card color was? Because I thought it was a blue deck, but you guys said it was a red card. Here's one thing I didn't tell you, which was, before this trick, I actually put something to my back. Stop. No way. I thought you were done. <laughs> <laughs> to my back. I thought okay, you were done. And, and, and remember, blue. remember, That's remember, blue. I thought it was blue, but you guys said, what was the card again? It was a jack. Jack of clubs? Jack of clubs. Yeah. Here's the thing that's interesting, which is I turned one card over in this deck. No fucking And you'll way. see it was a red no! card. <laughs> the way you guys said the jack of clubs. The jack of clubs. No way. Wow. I that's, have no idea how he did that. Check that everywhere. Follow him what? on Instagram. Follow him on YouTube. Follow him on TikTok. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, what? I don't get how that works. And gentlemen, on wow, that that's note, crazy. I'm out. I have to what get to fuck? a show. Yo, that's, that's a crazy uh -huh, Thank you, boys. Yes, please. Thank you wow. so much. That was incredible. Thank Beautiful. you. Wow. All right, Robbie, hit the music. Wow. <laughs> what? I don't know if you actually need I to do an done. outro. Oh, no. That's no, 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 no. Perfect. <laughs> that's Everyone, beautiful. bye. Bye.